All right, I got my two holes uh, drilled. I did them both small, enlarge the one. Before you proceed and, and go farther on this, I would just say first, just, just visually, like does it look like my holes are the same as the plan? Um, if you think if you're in doubt at all, just just have me take a look at it or something. But you know, don't put more time into this unless you're unless you think you got the holes drilled in the right place. All right, so now what we have to do is we are going to go ahead and hacksaw uh, out our metal, and it's important that this line right here that we lay that out and not just try and wing it, and then we have another line here that we try and um, lay out as well. And so there's two dimensions here. Uh, this one basically is a quarter inch, right? So from the top of the screwdriver, we're going to go down a quarter of an inch, and we're going to make just like a little tiny, tiny mark right there, a little mark. And then over here, if I follow this line down, you can see that it's this one here, and it's 3 eighths. So it's really important that we make from the left side, we go over, make a little tiny dot right there with our scribe. And so let me go ahead and do that really quick. So I'm going to get the 3 eighths mark done first. So here's my um, eighths. I got 1 eighths, 2 eighths, 3 eighths flush with that. It's locked in. Uh, the dimensions from the left side. So I'm going to hold it, screwdriver like that, on the left side. And I'm just going to make a tiny mark right here, just a little mark. Okay, so that's done. Up here, a quarter inch. So that's the same as 2 eighths or 4 sixteenths, right? Same, same thing. So um, the dimensions from the top. So again, I'm, I'm telling you guys not to rotate this. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this like this. The top, I'm going to make a little tiny mark right here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to go ahead and try and lay the ruler so that it on the right side I basically have the mark here, I can, I can see it. And then that's going to run tangent to the circle, meaning that it's going to touch the circle. So I can barely see the circle. I'm kind of visualizing this. So I should be able to go here and just go one time. And that went very well. It went tangent to that circle I drilled out. So that's done. I'm going to lay it now this way. And again, if you mess this up, if you like don't quite get it right, you can just put more layout fluid and just try again. Um, all right, so it's looking like I can see that circle there. It looks aligned, so, oops, wasn't holding it tight enough. But I want you to do this yourself. All right. So, got my, got my lines there. I'll try and put a light on this so it's a little bit brighter. You can see the two lines there. All right, so now what's important now is to understand with the hacksaw, you know, where are you going to cut? So first off, I want to get something really, um, be, be really, really clear with something that and metal working, woodworking, you know, you really don't want to ever cut on the line. You want to cut on one side of the line. So do I want to cut on this side of the line where my part is? This is my part, obviously, right? I'm going to get this graded. Or do you want to cut on this side? This is called the waste side. This is going to go in the recycle bin. Okay, so... You definitely, when you cut, you want to cut not on the line, but just on this side. So I want to cut as close to the line as I can without touching it. And then on over here, um, 
Same thing, you want to cut on the waist side of the, of the line, which I'll demonstrate. Uh, one thing I really recommend you, that you do that is going to really help you to have a good grade, and that's going to be for you to do some practice cuts. So I'm going to recommend you do one practice cut here, a second practice cut here at the hacksaw, and a third practice cut. And when you feel you can go straight, and you've had a couple tries here, then you're ready. And again, what you want to do is you're going to um, come in here at the hacksaw. You're going to stay close to the line but not touch it. And then as soon as you get right here, you're going to stop. So stop right there. That's one cut. Then you're probably going to rotate your, your part in the vise. Um, I'll just show you now. So we're going to rotate and then we're going to come in over here and we're going to come in with the hacksaw. We're going to stay really close to that line on the waist side and then we're going to stop right there. So we got two cuts and once you have those two cuts done, this whole piece is going to go away and you will have, have a good understanding of how to use the hacksaw. So I got that laid out. Again, if you want help, you could review the video, you could ask for some help, and, and, and we'll go ahead and do that. Um, the other thing worth noting right now is that there's also a curve here. There's this curve. Um, in CAD, we would call this uh, a fillet, uh, taking a sharp edge, make, making it rounded. Um, and, th and there's a dimension on here, uh, a radius dimension here. So what it's saying is that from the center of the circle to this point right here is 5 sixteenths. From the center of the circle, from the center of the circle right here is 5 sixteenths. Center of the circle right there is 5 sixteenths. So it's 5 sixteenths, you know, from the center of the circle out. Okay? And the way you're going to do that is you're going to be filing, you're going to be filing this away. And so you can try to lay it out if you would like. You could put a couple dots there like I have. Um, there's a couple ways to lay it out. But we're going to hacksaw it and then file that and then we'll move on to the last step.